Alright. But you can scale very nicely. Oh, I'll just go more from Alright. Same general idea, like you have a bit of a safety mechanism or a bit of a escape tool with the waveform. But uh Bad Rider should be fine in that lane. So we can probably run him as a core position. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Alright, all you need then. Actually, yeah, no one was actually running the um, the morphling in the game in the last game up against Vichy Gaming at Dream League. So there's still that option too. Just send him in mid, and then uh, try and pick up another hero for Ramses. Virtus pros, to uh, these kind of drafts, they're kind of the best, where you uh, have enough flexibility between your heroes, between your players and the heroes, of course. So yeah, um, the lanes aren't really all that obvious, even though there's um, yeah, some of some lane configurations have a higher probability than others. But um, just making sure that the enemy doesn't know exactly can go quite Ten a long way. Seconds remaining. For now the OD ban, so we can Five start seconds thinking remaining. about heroes like Ember's Bird. Are you looking Radiance at Prophet, looking at Troll? Oh, yeah, Ember's Bird ban now, there we go. Uh, would have been a nice one just to have a, a bit of extra mobility to catch up to these people. Have some wave clear, some pushing power of your own. Like, um, are the heroes would be Pagna. Maybe a bit awkward against Pango, Batrider. But you do have the blast to bring down towers, you have the decrepit fire to catch around the troll ward. Ten seconds remaining. So you kinda want something like that. Else I mean five seconds. Virtus Pro seem very comfortable with this kind of a game plan. We're just like, alright, we're gonna not lose our lanes, we're just gonna do at least even in most of them, and then we're just gonna farm up our course and then we're just gonna win the game. That's mostly what they've been doing um so far. They're kind of setting up for the same kind of thing today, right? It's kind of what you're bound to have to do if you don't pick up any sort of early tower damage. <laughs> Virtus Pros turn to Night Stalker. Night Stalker, okay. Ah, uh, I'm not a Night Stalker fan. I'm a bit more accepting of it now than I used to be just a few weeks ago, but um, Ten I don't know, I'm still not remaining. the biggest fan of it. It's basically one of these heroes where Five you can do a lot at night time, but beyond that you're basically a slave to your ultimate cooldown. And that's a very long cooldown indeed, so it's... Uh, you're basically not a hero for a part of the game, maybe a third or so. Because if you do have your ultimate available, it's absolutely powerful, even at night time actually, just being able to have that flying vision, unobstructed pathing as well, it's like very hard to deal with at times. Um, I'm interested to see whether Team Empire can pull this one off. VP though, they need a solution for mid, which uh, could be any one any of these heroes actually at this point, but oh no, oh not again. Ah, uh, they get themselves the gyrocopter. I mean, as much as I'm not a fan of Night Stalker, I even I hate the gyrocopter even more. Hey, it's... It's gonna be the no one gyrocopter, so... If anyone can make it work, then of course he can, but... And it's still Virtus Pro that we're talking about, but... In general, the hero just seems so weak without the IO. 
Yeah, last time the rattle was actually against Team Secret at Dream League five days ago, and they lost that game. So, <laughs> what am I supposed to think here? Yeah, was that Ramsey's gyro or was that no one gyro? Mm. There was Ramsey's on it. So they're mixing things up a little bit here. But I don't know. As a core roll, it just seems like by the time that um, you get one item, your magic damage is already starting to fall off, and um, the one item is not going to be enough. Oh god, I'm. Okay, I'm having some frame drops every once in a while. I do apologize for that. I have no idea why. I have no way of fixing it. So. All I can do. All I can do is hope that it's not going to be too much. That there's not going to be too much of it. All right. Ready for the game? Game number one of this best of three series. Team Empire versus Voters Pro, the upper bracket match. The win of this one is guaranteed in the uh, upper bracket of the playoff phase. So that's pretty nice. If you lose this one, I mean, you're not going to be out of the tournament either way. But if you lose this one, if you lose the next one, then you have to start in the lower bracket of the playoffs, which is not ideal. So ideally you want to nip this one in the bud, get that first seed, and also get the seed up against the second place team of Group B, of course. So Placement can be quite important. <laughs> Alright. Dream back and a troll warlord, so it's certainly one of his heroes. I mean, it's a troll warlord at this point is one, one of the heroes that should be in your repertoire as a carry. The same way that uh, Pangolier should be in the repertoire of every mid player, so Kordos. I uh, don't think I've seen him <laughs> play Pangolier recently. But I'm sure he knows what he's doing with that. Yes, this is a very interesting rotation, very good one too, and they... Ah, uh, might be able to get Martin here. Things were ready to go with the roll. They see them though, and they're forcing their... Uh, it's well actually over... doesn't connect on anybody. And Sayuf <laughs> able to secure the bounty rune. One, two, three for Team Empires. Pasha also taking quite a bit of damage here in turn. Yeah, so he threw a few mangoes, but yeah, he did get the Devour on one of the Prophet Treants, I do believe. So, um, got some extra region coming in that way already. So far, so good. I mean, it was, it was a nice attempt, but uh, heads up play there from a bad rider. Checking the high ground with that sticky napalm. Now Sayuv. Oh, just just doing support things, you know, just tracking that creeper for your offliner, or for yourself. Martin certainly needs that experience more than uh, Bad Rider does, arguably. Team speak. <laughs> well, well. Team speak in 2019. Yeah, that's, I'd be laughing too. <laughs> well, well. Yeah, Pasha trying to do the same thing as the Bad Rider here, by the looks of it. Problem is, he's gonna have King R chasing him all the way. And this is a zero armor hero up against Prophet Treans. Like, he doesn't have um, a Blightstone or anything. But come, come. Oh, he's trying to go for the button blocks. Ah, he messed up. Unfortunate. He can body block some of these creeps. Eh. It's not really possible, is it? Dream actually making his way in there, too. <laughs> Slows. King R actually gets ahead of him. Oh, no, never mind. Is he gonna die here still? Looks like he might very well be the first blood, despite all the region coming in. One more click will do it, and that is King R. <laughs> that was the longest chase. It was like here, all the way over here, and then he gets the first blood. Damn. Bit anticlimactic, but certainly, uh, I mean, Dream helping out was possible. It's a bit of slow, it's a bit of extra damage. So 
results so far. Good start for this troll and uh, this bottom lane in general. Same can be set up for uh, Ramses, who is taking this morphling towards the mid lane. Or sustain wise, uh, don't have too many issues here. You gotta be a bit careful though, not to be nuked down by the Pangolin. Certainly, once he has the javelin coming in a little bit later. Reach Moon. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> also helpful. In the meantime, though, of course, uh, what you can always do with a Morphling is just go max agility, pop a selfie back up to full health no matter what. So later down the line, we'll see whether he wants to go for this Mask of Madness. Uh, or the Morbid Mask. Sorry, just the Morbid Mask for some casual lifesteal. So you can do that uh, very easily as well. Ah, on bottom will continue to be left alone. So it's always taking a lot of damage here, but they do not quite want to die the tier 2 tower just yet. But they are keeping away from all of this juicy experience. The three different range creeps here that he really wants to get his hands on. And Empire just denying that altogether. Unless he can find a way off in the side. Ooh, nah, it's time to be taken down. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. This tower is a result also taking quite a bit of damage. This Doom certainly not having a fun time right here. And what's the trade up up top? I mean, no one is sitting at 14 and 11. Like, man, it's not getting a lot of last hits. Neither is Sayuv, of course, but. Oh, what? Dyer's bottom tower is under TP back in there? What? And he was being chased down by King R, but he had his health going, so it was fine. And then. It suddenly shows up here, so I can only assume that he TP it in towards the tower. Then he died, so it's like, this is <laughs> sub 4 minute tier 1 tower. This is not good. Dyer's not good at all. Pasha has nothing to show for it. But yeah, up top, I mean, you commit both of these supports to help out the Gyrocarpter. Um, result attack. is that Martin is also not getting a lot of last hits, fortified. but he's now getting nice little creep up actually. So at least getting his levels. That's how you've also taken some of them away. Shade of Dream just can get another kill. You're missing out on this exchange. I mean, at this point, it's too late to rotate the support. Uh, they're just gonna feed as well, I would guess. I'm not sure rolling in. They're gonna keep Koros away from mid. At least this lane's working out here. 39 on members. And again, no one's not actually doing terribly up in this top lane. The solo. Gotta be a bit careful there, my friend. Don't have any ways of dealing with an A bomb. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. It's also room time. It's also night time here. Roger, yeah, he does not want to go up there. Uh, Kinga got themselves one. Kodos got one. Sayuf got one. Yeah. And what is? Oh, Kinga got both. Okay, both down bottom. Never mind. So four bounty runes going the way of Empire, like. So it makes it worse now. No one can try and go on him here. Firefly. Charge up here with the extra slows. Try and dodge a stun. Not quite possible on Sayuv. And now, no TP in from Ramses. I'll try and turn this around. Sayuv's still pretty healthy with these bottle charges. No one different story here. Oh, he tanked the fire with five stacks of Napalm on him still. Like, he can actually be forward in this fight. King Arm being isolated in the side still. Slow down. Couple right clicks and nukes. And it's gonna be enough. Empire. <laughs> Not willing to continue to commit to this push, actually. Or this attempt. You know, after night, sorry, it is nighttime, yes, level 2, Hunter Knight, but only level 1 Void, so it's. His utility is very limited, but. Yeah, he still wants to make a play here, so I've come back in. No one slowed down. Roger trying to buy some space, and with the. Oh, the missile also flying in. Actually, gonna transfer over onto the Zerg Spirit. Three stacks of Napalm, but they actually dodges the roll. Not a slow, keeping the stacks up, and eventually this should be a kill, right? There we go. Unable to quite make it to the shrine. That's something done after all. 
Dyer's top tower is under attack. What's happening elsewhere? I mean, Pasha's still trying going back and forth on bottom. Oh, let's see if she goes in this. Now starting to. Oh my god, is he gonna get the skill? No way. Oh no. Not quite the right position for Ramses to be in. That was pretty sick though if that worked out. I mean, he was in with, then he was starting to roll between here, but uh, Ramses got pushed out of it. And so if he'd gotten a third stun up, Morphling would not have been able, would have just turned up the item that he would not, not have been able to get the item good chip going. That would have been big indeed, considering that Kodos not actually doing too hard. 57 and 15, a lot of those are jungle creeps as well, but certainly a difference. So this mid lane not going particularly well, you could argue for Empire, but at the same time it's going well enough. Again, especially with Troll Warlord being as far ahead as he is, he's also going for this more aggressive build with the Yasha, rather than going straight for the Battle Fury or something like that. So we'll be able to uh, contribute and be active, uh, certainly around the second night time. First one's about to end soon. Is okay, no one is being gone on, but who's going on who here? Just running in. King ah, the rocket's flying, though, canceling the TP. Oh no. He is going to die. He is going to die. There you go. And also got the Bad Rider. So. Aggressive movement and quite work out. Created space for Martin at least, so we can get some extra levels. If he gets us level 6, you have to stay seconds of Dark Ascension. Nighttime on demand, essentially. Plus free pathing and everything, so that allows you to still make place, even at daytime. Now, well, speaking of making plays, Kodos is just straight up rolling in. Does find a stun onto no one. With a bit of extra damage, they find a kill. Good burst here, Javelin coming into play, is another TP in solo. He's pretty much solo in his lane, Roger kind of throwing in the stone to keep him company, but not well, exactly enough to keep him safe. So there'll be a free tier 1 on top of two separate kills. Empire, they kept poking and prodding and finally they found an opening where VP was not ready to respond with enough force. I mean, Ramses is still farming, and they're gonna have to rely on him eventually to just carry the game. But the question for me is, is how much this gyrocopter can do to actually uh, help them get some sort of footing in the mid lane? So that's what's really come down, gonna come down to. I mean, there's there's other options as well, or there's other tools Dyer that you can use. Scanning. You know, once Grimstroke hits level six, you're gonna have the double doom available. Even just a singular doom might just be enough as the smoke rotation comes in. Dream realizes, oh my god, I'm freaking screwed right now. Doom comes in, stuns, silences, and there's no way he survives this one. This time solo, able to secure some bounty runes for the side of VP at least. Time Maelstrom online for Pangolio. So that's a hero that doesn't necessarily even need all that much money. But uh, so the fact that he already has that uh, 10 minutes in, I mean, it skipped the boots and everything for it. So I mean, that's all the damage items that you're going to need for the next 10 minutes or so. No one. And again, there's a lot of. How much in return? King R? Actually, might end up dropping in the end, and he does indeed. Swashbuck does connect with Roll just to make sure, and actually connecting on Ramses. As he's turning in, and no one is joking. He's jiving, he's absolutely fine. Swashbuck missing. Come on, Kodos. Come on. That rider dies. No one. Oh my god, don't tell me he survives this one. Kodos, another Swashbuck off the mark. What's the spell, Suprock? <laughs> Actually, does the trick. He's still gonna be nuked down by Ramses in the end. <laughs> like, what the hell? That was the silliest fight I've ever seen. Pasha drops somewhere else entirely. But yeah, a more accomplished Bengali player doesn't miss two flash buckets in a row, so we could have prevented that. Roger, a nice little catch down bottom as he's trying to make a play on Dream, who's kind of low, but not low enough. Pasha, all of a sudden in the front lines, there's still a lasso available for Batrider. 
do end up finding some sort of position. Potentially get this kill on the dome. Nice catch. They figure out that there's a ward up there. Uh, we're gonna need another sprout to get rid of it. Everyone's gonna be coming off cooldown right now. And. <laughs> yeah, okay, just gonna have to click it. As uh, okay, Dream. She being surrounded by not just teammates but also enemies. Pasha in the middle of all of this. Let's have a deal with another couple of seconds. Looks like he might die before. There's Lasso on Ramsey's here. Was it shifting? He is just straight up dead. Man, with the dark attention in the DD room, just says, Hello, I'm a hero. To protect you. Dodos Pro. And Faith just smacked into the sidewalk right now. Also, oh, tier 2. And, uh, they're not going to get a tier 3, surely. We're thinking about maybe pressuring a little bit, but. Not really going to accomplish much. Like, the death time is low enough that they weren't going to actually be able to finish off the tier 3. Or it would have been very unlikely, I think. There was a chance that VP can get some extra kills on the retreat, or TPing him into the backlines or something like that. And at this point, it's just not worth it. It's it's better to just uh, immediately spread out, continue Dyer's the farm. Middle tower is under attack. So, I mean, this is something that you have to be very careful about. If you sit at this much agility, um, any sort of lockdown here, the silence, especially the silence coming from Night Sock, actually. Opening fear, night duration 5 seconds, and that's a big old AoE around you. Um, it's only level 1, so it's still potentially devastating. So you better be very, very sure that you're in the right position that you can get that shift off Dyer's at the right time. Is under attack. It's not like Empire doesn't have burst damage, right? You've King R with the ultimate, not quite there just yet, but eventually that might be bouncing through, but mostly Kordos. Bottom tower of course the Void, let's not forget about that. Radiant structure 255 damage here at level 3, that scales extremely well. In uh, the damage department here, but angrily, ooh. Yeah. The Doom. Where are you watching? So let me get the kill over to Roger. <laughs> bottom tower that, that'll give him his own. Probably deliberated that for a second. Hey, who needs the money most? I want a Midas! Yeah, screw that. I'm getting my urn. It's an actually useful item. Radiance middle tower is under attack. So VP is still biding that time. Gotta be careful not to find themselves in the position that G was in for old but gold in the last game though, where kinda rely on that Our one scanning. uh one carry here to end the game for his man goes in with not dark ascension the silence doesn't prevent the roll but it will set up for the grim strokes that's a one free kill so i can't quite find another one there's a big cooldown but let's get a support kill with it they're also looking for roche Some click away there's no life still anything but they do have the team to tank it up they do have a medallion on Night Stalker. I kind of like this build. This is a bit of a fight brewing in mid lane, but they do lose Pangolair. I don't think VP is. I mean, they must have. No, they must know what's going on. So now with the smoke, they're walking in, forcing Empire out of the pit. They didn't quite have enough damage to finish him off. Now VP. There's no Pangolair. This is the one problem that you have fighting inside the Roche pits. now, hey, she's buying back. So <laughs> Stump coming through on Troll Warlord. Can't control that dream. Low and lower here, Roshan's still relatively healthy, so Lasso does connect on Jaya Cop Sans and everybody. It's still night time here for Martin to can take advantage of Dream with the ultimate Sans on life a little bit. Uh, over onto Roger, but already lost two of their support heroes now. No more ultimate. Keep yourself safe. <laughs> King R trying to do what he can, but finally Kodos says, hey, there's my ult. There was a damage follow up here. This time the shift comes in from the Morphlings, so Ramsey's gonna be absolutely fine. A three for two trade. Jaya are also buying back. Means that VP can actually finish off this rush. So should be able to call us. Oh, he's making the big plays. Or is he making the small plays? We'll find out soon. I mean, for now, yeah, he's going there surely ages. Oh, Ramsey's took a while for him to back to pick it up. 
he did it properly in the end. Damn! <coughs> Empire, start the rush. Didn't quite have the power. Gordos gets caught out and made VP. Know exactly what's going on, so they force this fight. They know that they are in a good position there. Quite a loss for Empire. Certainly a big loss of momentum here. So trying to reestablish that, Roger. In the middle of the tier sounds up, so it should be an easy one. Uh, that makes it all the way uh, even more impressive, though. That was during nighttime. <laughs> the king, not just one, but both of the supports. One in the bottom lane. Radiant structures are fortified. I mean, despite the ages, it still needs. A little bit of extra farm to be really extremely dangerous, extremely scary empire to fight into. But I think it's scary enough for the rest of his team to prevent Cyrus and Push from really doing anything. Okay. But all of a sudden, 10k, like he's not gonna be too far away now. This morphing. Saw no one going through the jungle up top. Juicy target here, and there's a silence. Colon still came in, not really doing too much to slow them down. It's Roger taping in. No, no one's still very much alive. They didn't quite have the burst damage on the front line. Now Kodos goes in with the roll. Speaking of rolls here, King R. Trouble in the front lines here, and they have to abort this push. Well, they have to abort this gank attempt even. No one surprisingly tanky, actually, as it turns out. I mean, it's more due to the fact that uh, Empire didn't quite have the damage output. I mean, Night Stalker, as useful as he is for control, he's not really a big right click, not just yet, anyway. Once you hit level 20, for example, or even certainly 25, you can get the attack speed, you can get the damage, get the life a little strength in, in the meantime. Fear quiets magic. And at that point, oh yeah. You can always go for these kind of snacks with the help of the R, so... Um, but yeah, once you max out on levels, you can actually be this very veritable a right clicker, this extra bit of damage source. Oh, that, that's a supplemental damage dealer, as I like to call it. Not the main damage dealer, it's still gonna be Troll Wallet. But, uh, I think a bit of extra one, extra to help burst these people out. So we're going to be helpful there. So King R, oh, there's a uh, homie who's flying at his dead. A bit too far forward there, my friend. And VP, I mean, uh, they've stabilized for quite a while. I mean, they've been uh, stopping this uh, advantage from uh, yeah, this advantage from Empire. Stop that from growing. Now they're sitting about 2k. Never advantage themselves. Experience similar story. Amazing what you found laying around. Yeah, if they can maintain this, they are going to get to a point where Ramsey is just going to be very hard to deal with. Empire, like they can itemize against him in some ways. Like if you want to go, yeah, there it is. Um, the spirit vessel, extremely important. So King R, go down that road. Eventually, sheep sticks. Just TP it out immediately dies. Yeah, it's it's not gonna help you, but you finish that off actually. Um, but yeah, either way, sheep stick eventually. Maybe a basher on troll. For now, it's gonna be the BKB. What's very necessary? Basher on Pengali would also be perhaps an option. But no, there's certainly ways to itemize up against Ramses. If he's the only one who's up there, then it's certainly not the end of the world. It's now man. Ooh, he's gonna go for a science. He's already starting to shift, so they need a little bit of extra control with the roots. They need a lot of extra damage here with that. Uh, and they just don't quite have it. The rest of VP coming in, ready to turn this around. So there's the Blink Lasso though. Over onto the Earth Spit. The Doom comes out on Troll Warlock, so no more easy fights from him. But Kodos controlling up the rest of them. Oh, he does find the nukes over. Ramses loses the ages. Meanwhile, the rest of the team though, Pasha still going ham on Madness. Nighttime, uh, Dark Ascension actually ends. Ramses turning back around here, disarms every which way, Kodos though, I don't know, I think that he knows where he wants to go, but Dream thanks, uh, waits out the Doom, 
to take over the front lines here. No one slowed down, but Ramsey's he's just tearing through the back lines. Double kill Double for kill. him as no one. Ah, that's really trying to finish him off solo. Nice little body blocks here to keep him away. With the extra slows, but Damn he, he he doesn't even have his ultimate going, but he still does a strike clicked on him. And slows. One more click. Eat your way through the trees and the rock stun! The stun comes in, Dream can't even find it! No one lives! How? Oh my god. Two clicks or so would have been enough. Two auto attacks. Oh. The fight could have been different if it wasn't for the Aegis, so if they... This goes to show how important these kind of Aegis fights are. Like if Ramses just straight up dies there and doesn't come back... Then it doesn't clean up the bad lines, about uh, the back lines. I probably have a few more... Uh, supports available, like King Ark could TP ahead of the target to help secure that kill instead, so... This went uh, into the toilet uh, because when this came back, it's able to do a lot of work. That's what you're really gonna be scared of. I'm surviving these kind of fights, he's getting more and more powerful. 10, 1 and 2 on the small plane. He's sitting at 14k net worth right now, and the highest farmed hero is actually the gyrocopter on his own team. Four levels behind, too, so... <laughs> I, th I think SCP could be coming right now, so... That's gonna be helpful, but ag again, the big problem is going to be Morphling. All he has is BKB, he's also going for Lincoln Sphere, so... No big damage output per se, but these kind of items will allow him to stay on high agility. Uh... It without having to worry about being nuked down, essentially. Which means he can just do a ridiculous amount of right-click damage and also damage with the adapter strike. There's still quite a few stats attached to this. I mean, Lincoln Sphere plus 10, I mean, Hurricane Pike plus 15 strength, another plus 10 for Black King Vars, all of that is gonna be enough. Go again. Smoke up is four. Dyer's top Empire, they're not in any top. position to receive them right now. There's just a head of a potential Roche respawn as well. Ten seconds until we know for sure. So there. Yeah, this is just the smoke to take control of this area. And they also see Kodos inside of the silence. Free kill on Angle there. It's a super quick respawn. Are you kidding, kidding me? Some, please check this. <laughs> there we go. Roger with the perfect timing. Can make a beeline straight for there. Don't have the quickest roach damage uh, on paper. Ramses is being as far ahead as he is. Like this, they just gonna chunk through him. It's gonna be ages and she's No way to contest that without the pangolier. Dad, you're gonna have to try and trade for something else, but what do you even trade for? I mean, <laughs> these towers on the bottom lane, they've been taken away a lot earlier, and there's no way you can go high ground. King Ahu, gotta get your hell out of there, but you can't. <laughs> it doesn't have uh, TPs. Both of them are on cooldown for 20 seconds. I guess he's just gonna have to hide a little bit while he watches the VP. Kill of one, maybe two towers in this lane. Radiance top tower. Yeah, Ramses decides. Oh god, did, did they find him? They found him. Solo no, he's, he's there. That's a silence straight up. Normal TP. Pasha gets it in uh, just in time. Oh, Mid Kodos. Ooh. Sure if that's the best idea. He's thinking forward actually. No, right on top of no one, but Roger's there to turn us around. Look at them. Burst down instantly. Takes up a whole rocket barrage and it's seemingly all it takes. Damn. Goes to show more that uh, Penguin is actually kinda squishy if he doesn't have some shield crash stacks. As opposed to uh, Gyrocopter being strong. This game feels like no one could be any other hero and would have been. Oh, the game would have gone just the same, you know?
their turn to push down the tier 2 bottom. Empire in a good position to trade for it though. They want to continue up top, but not exactly sure what's going on, even though they should be. I mean, they've got a lot of deep observer wards right now. Oh, you're being baited. You're being baited so freaking hard right now. That's a double doom coming in. Oh, no. No. Double kill. Double doom. Double the depth of strike. Double kill. Ah, uh, that was painful to watch. Minus was like, eh, it's fine. I'm just going to go in. But why? Why would you make the decision? You, just, you see that no one's up there. In the jungle. You see no one else in the other lanes. You see no one in the side jungle. So you gotta figure that they're gonna be close by down here on your side of the. Uh, on your side. Well, then in King RTP in just seen the deal. So, like, oh yeah, right, we can finally use this combo. Easy. It's on cooldown now, but. VP are perfectly happy to just leverage this. The Aegis and Gyro and Jason Ramses, they feel very confident. confident the ability to do some damage here. At the same time, both of these satellites being pushed in, so forcing on some TPs. CP. They don't want to give up anything over. Oh, uh, don't want to give anything over. A lot of damage actually being done. The tier 3 in turn, so Empire actually. I don't want to say they came out ahead of, of all of this. But they uh, didn't come out as far behind as they could have. If they didn't have these lanes in good position. Oops, uh, force the immediate retreat from VP. Uh, Roger. This is Kraut. Roger still finds the roll towards the tier 2. Ramses for starting out. And he starts right click, but now there's a stun from Koda. So finally finish up Roger before he can get any more spells in. Ramses with the BKB. He's actually just nuking down King, huh? But now, oh, the Lincoln Sphere keeps Lasso alive and uh, keeps the Lasso away. Now another Soulbind coming in. No double doom available, but keeps them in this general area. Force on another BKB from Dream. That's Looking for more chases here. Four star forward. Still silence slowed. I don't know if that was intentional, but he actually went for the movement speed creep here as the extra move speed aura. As it do catch up to the proper troll warlord. Ramsey's starting to click away. Dream is tanky, but he's not tanky enough. Solo the one finds a snipe. Don't have a creep wave here. Martin <laughs> actually able to maintain it up near the tier 2 tower, but. Seems so devastating once again. Ramsey's getting a few more kills. 13, 1, and 4 on this kid right now. And all of that adds up to a 14k advantage for VP 30 minutes in. Bounty. Yeah, another one of these games where they're just, you know, just playing Dota, you know? They're just relying on their ability to outplay. Uh, as the game goes later and later. Precious bounty. Outplay and outscale as well as now Ramsey's. The DD rune, certainly. Very scary carry right now. Yes. Turns into Ramses, which I'm not so sure about. <laughs> right now, how much is he aiming for? 3, 4, 5, 600 damage or so. And, and counting. And he has flat cannon. Alright, that's why he did that. <laughs> he almost kills Ayub there, I'm pretty sure. Yikes. Yikes. The rune of many winds strikes again. Radiant's bottom shrine. So looking for a shrine here. Radiant's bottom shrine has fallen. Not to the point where you got a question, how do you stop these heroes? How do you stop this Morphling with all the support that he has? I mean, it's all well and good that he went for this early game build on a troll warlord, but they weren't really able to leverage that in, this, in a couple of these team fights. It all started to turn around um, on that first Roche fight that they lost and then gave up Roche as Radiant's in turn. Kind of broke the momentum of uh, Team Empire. 
Now we don't have an easy way to Radiance come back on Heels Like Troll. Has How do you farm? You know, we don't. So you're sitting at 12k. We're having a 22k morphling going in as Doom comes through. So much chaos, so many spells being used, and there's no more Bat Rider. No one in the middle of all of this here has to be a bit more careful, but he's covered by the BKB. Kolos brought down as old ends in the front lines. Ramsey's just <laughs> making them run a gauntlet all the way back to their own fountain. They're barely not surviving there either. Martin with a buyback. As VP refocused on the tier 3 tower. And these, uh, maybe has to be a bit careful. No more cheeses, no more ages for him. Oh, and also ate the cheese a little bit earlier. But he can lifesteal. He can lifesteal very nicely indeed. So it's going to be a second set of racks down. And they could go for the win right here, and that's exactly what they're going to do. 20 seconds still on Kodos. No more nighttime, no more dark ascension, no more anything for Martin here. So Roger, Kodosai is proud, rolled straight back out of it. Rolled straight back out again. It's a bit of a power play to buy some space for the rest of the team as BP backing up just a little bit. They're not fountain farming, they're not just going super pub mode just yet. It's uh, getting up top, fall down, sends them back as uh, the throne is dying. The flag kind of Ramsey's doing so much work here. So again, they're not even living inside the fountain. I just said they're not going to go full pub mode, but fountain farming is certainly one of these things that uh, you don't often see too much in pro games. Goro's trying to do what he can, but just not enough at this point, Pangoli also. In, in that sense, they're not the momentum based heroes. <laughs> they want an extra kill. Troll Warlord. Goes with going in. Stays alive a little bit longer, but not long enough. It's finally call. Game number one goes away of Virtus Pro. Empire. Oh, it turned out to be quite a slippery game for them. Again, they not looking too badly. Then they lose that one fight around the Rosh Pit, and it all goes to hell from there. Ramsey's super strong. Good uh, beefy heroes here to help screen for him in the meantime. So it's. Yeah, another solid Virtus Pro game. Not sure what else I can say about it. But yeah. Um, gonna take a short break, but potentially last match of the day coming up, uh, at least on the stream. In just a few moments' time, so don't go too far away.